I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on logarithmic equations. Here I will take few examples where change of base will be required to solve logarithmic equations. So you can check my playlist where you will find couple of questions similar to what we are trying to solve. We need to solve log to the base of 16x plus log to the base 4 of x plus log to the base 2 of x equals to 7. Change of base formula is kind of like this. If you are given log to the base a of x and if you want to change the base to b, you could write this as log to the base b of x divided by log to the base b of a. So this formula is used to change the base from a to b. Now when you are given a question like this where the base is 16, 4, 2, we'll prefer to change the base to 2, right? So here, we'll change the base to 2. So let's rewrite the equation with a different base. Log to the base 16 of x can be written as log to the base 2 of x divided by log to the base 2 of 16, right? That is how you change the base. Next term, log to the base 2 of x divided by log to the base 2 of 4, right? And then we already have log to the base 2 of x, everything equal to 7. Now here, log to the base 2 of 16 is what? 16 is 2 to the power of 4, right? We know 16 is 2 to the power of 4, and we know 4 is 2 square. So log to the base 2 of 16 is 4, right? So let me rewrite this as log to the base 2 of x over log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of 4 plus log to the base 2 of x over log to the base 2 of 2 square plus log to the base 2 of x equals to 7. Now that gives us log to the base 2 of x and 2 to the power of 4 when to the base of 2 will be 4. So we get 1 over 4 here, correct? Plus we get half of log to the base 2 of x plus log to the base 2 of x equals to 7. At this stage, we have two options. We could even go with the fourth root, square root, and then solve the equation. Or we could just multiply everything by 4, right? So, so what we are going to do here is times 4 each side. So if you do that, you get log to the base 2 of x plus 2 times log to the base 2 of x plus 4 times log to the base 2 of x equals to 7 times 4 which is 28. Now you can combine all these terms. So let me go one more step and then we'll combine. This could be written as log to the base 2 of x squared plus log to the base 2 of x to the power of 4 equals to 28, correct? Okay. Applying the logarithmic laws, plus means you just multiply all of them, you get log to the base 2 of x times x squared times x to the power of 4 equals to 28. Now writing it in exponential form, we could write this as 2 to the power of 28 is equal to x to the power of 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 4, 7, right? So we get x to the power of 7. So that's what we get. Now, to find the value of x, we could write something to the power of 7. So on the right side, I could actually write this as 28 as a multiple of 7 and 4, right? So I could write this as 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 7. Do you see that? 7 times 4 is 28. 
Now if you compare, you get your solution that x is equals to 2 to the power of 4, which is 16, right? So get x as equal to 16. Does it make sense to you? So that is how you could actually solve such a question. You can always check the result. If you write 16 for x, what do you get? You get logs to the base 16 of 16 plus log to the base 4 of 16 plus log to the base 2 of 16 and that is 1 plus 4 square that is 2 plus 2 to the power of 4 and that is indeed equal to 7. Do you see that? So it verifies that the answer is 7. So that is how you could actually change the base and get the solution. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.